Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm at the 2024 Atlanta Jollof Festival. This is a rice dish originating in West Africa, Senegal to be exact, and I've never tried it before. I've only heard good things, so I'm so excited to be able to try Jollof rice from several different countries today. Let's go check it out. All right, so we have our tickets. We got a wristband. We're going to be able to try five different Jollof rice varieties, but there's several vendors out here, and I want to go check them out. So let's go see what there is. You know that's Ghana and Nigeria. This is Jamaica. Jerk chicken. Jerk chicken. Jerk Woo! Oh my goodness. Wow. Jerk swim. Wow. That looks really good too. Oh, my favorite. No, 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 no. Okay. That looks so good. You guys have a place here? We're open to restaurants. We're waiting on inspections. Hopefully, we'll open by the end of the month. Uh, and by every hospital online. Alright, well we'll come back for some oxtail. Thank you so much. Alright, alright. Holy cow. We got Jamaican food. Then we have Nigerian food right here. Let's go see what they have. Wow. Yeah, yeah, we're what tomorrow friends. Yep, that's it. That's me. So we're based in Atlanta and then we travel the world, so we wanted to come check out. I've never had jollof rice before, so I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In November, we are going to do it in Houston, so you guys want to come out to Oh, okay. Bye. Good. We're doing fantastic. It smells good. Everything is beautiful. These colors are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm Bridget. Nice to meet you. Nice to be Lola. And are you based in Atlanta as well? I am. Okay. I only have an online boutique right now. Okay. But I'm local. Wow. That clothing is so pretty. Those handbags. My goodness. All right. I think we've seen all the vendors. Let's go ahead, get inside, and try some jollof rice. Look at this shirt, you guys. This is great. As much as I love plain white rice, I can feel that though. I feel that, I get it. Okay, we're back. We're ready to start sampling now. Do you guys have the blue or the orange? Orange, yep. Right that way. Fantastic. Cool. Yeah, he's with me, thank you. Thank you. All right, we got one. Then this is the yellow team. Sweet, and then we got the blue team. Oh man, this looks like the bottom of the thing. It looks like it has some of that, some of that nice crunchiness. Then we got orange, pink, last one. I'm so excited. This is the first time I'm ever having jollof in my life, and I'm so excited. All right, I already see one that looks really good, but I'm not going to be biased and I'm just going to get to it when I get to it. So we're going to start from the top. This one's got some corn in it, I can see already. First try of jollof. I want a lot of corn in there. I am a fan of corn and rice. Okay. Wow. This is gonna be harder than I thought, because this one looked the least good to me, but that was really good. It's got a nice little spice to it. I would say like, out of five, it's got like a three level spice. A two, a two level spice. That rice is cooked really nice. It's not too soft or too wet. It's got a very nice evenness. I could taste those peppers in there. The corn gives it a nice light sweetness. Let's go ahead and let's try this one. Team Green. I see we got some pork in here. We got carrots. This rice looks thinner, almost like a, a basmati rice. Mmm. It's totally different. This one's got no spice. It's a little drier. The, the rice grains are more loose. I do taste a little bit more of that carrot essence in there. Very nice, it's a little smokier as well. I think this is like a ham hock uh, that's put in there. It's got a little smokiness to it. I notice all the rice is different. Even the rice grain goes into account when they're making the jollof, depending on the country. So that's really cool. All right, we're going with the orange team or red team. I, I like the look of this rice. This got a nice tomatoey look to it. 
The grains are like a, a long to medium grain. Definitely not a basmati. Ooh. Mm. Whoa. Wow. Instantly, a punch of smoky flavor, like a charred smoky flavor, not mesquite or anything like that. This is excellent. The rice texture is perfect. Nice and uh, just over al dente, but it's got a little bit of spice to it too. I say like a two on that spice level. Mm. This rice tastes like I'm standing in front of a, a barbecue smoker. Like you're smelling the charcoal. I think flavor wise, this one's got my vote right now. All right, let's go with blue team. I really like the color of this rice, that beautiful dark red, a little stickiness to it. Mm. This is the most tomatoey of all the rice so far. Oh, all right. This is not gonna be an easy decision. We got one more to try. This is our last one. Team Black. And you can see this rice is a very small, short grain rice. It's almost like a broken rice. Look at that. See how tiny those grains are? I'm a huge fan of short grain rices, but it's definitely more dry than the other last two. Ooh. It tastes like a seafood rice. It tastes like a fish stock in here, or a crab shrimp stock. It, I would be shocked if this doesn't have a seafood broth base. It has a nice crunchiness to it. Mm. Mm. So good. This is a blind tasting. So jollof rice is extremely competitive amongst West African countries. It was invented in Senegal, but Ghana, Nigeria, Liberia all have something to say about it. And they all have their own versions. So I'm really excited to see who Team Blue is. Team Blue, whatever it is, that's what I'm going for. Um, right? So good. I want to know what's in there. What's your favorite so far? Yes, yes. The most flavor. Yep. How do you feel about that smokiness? Too much? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Too much, much. yeah. I liked it, but I can see how it's too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you keep eating it. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. You think they would give it away that All right, ready to go vote? Let's go vote. Nice to meet you, ladies. Enjoy. Oh, that was so good. I'm ready to vote. I've got my, I've got my color in my mind. And ain't nothing gonna change it, so let's go. Okay, but first, I gotta get a beer. As soon as I walked out, this place is so much more busy than it was just like 30 minutes ago. Look at this line for tasting. Oh, here's the, here's the voting map. Let me go. Okay, so I had my helping of Jala and really I'm not that hungry anymore but I can't come to a festival where there's Jamaican jerk and not have some so let's get in line. Hello again. Do you have the jerk pork? Yes. Yeah. A jerk pork and an oxtail. Oh wow. Jerk sauce, that's it. Jerk sauce, alright. Yeah. Wow. I also want to get some of that scotch bonnet sauce before we leave as well. Try it. Try it. Uh, I like that it's your own list. All set. All set. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank nice you. to meet you. Alright, we got some Jamaican jerk classics. Oh, look at this oxtail with sweet plantains, cabbage, and rice with beans. Look how much sauce is on there. Oh my God. Succulent is what it looks like. That's the only word to describe this. No, 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 no. You guys, wow. Wow. That is so good. That is so good. Oh my goodness. The spice, the smokiness, the just the peppery. It's like all spices, dry spices. My God. It's not too spicy. So it's got a nice mouth flavor. 
they had some scotch bonnet pepper, but this gravy that's coating this is incredible. Mm. Oh my God. Okay, let's try this rice. I, I definitely, I need some beans in there. Mm. Can't have that rice without the beans. It's all one thing, wow. The rice is soft, nicely braised. And then let's try this cabbage. Some stewed cabbage. Super crunchy. Breaks up that fattiness and the super rich succulent flavor of the oxtail. But this is the one. Maduros, sweet plantains. You gotta love them all throughout the Caribbean. Mm, oh. So good. Somehow, it still tastes different from Latin plantain, uh, Latin sweet plantains, even though it's kind of like the same objective. So I wonder if they season it with something a little bit different. It's really good. Oh, look at this little one. Let's do this action. Mm. Mm. Wow. I love every bit of that. Let's try the jerk pork. Those flavors just keep keep unfolding on your palate. Look at this piece of pork. Oh, wait a second. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, no, I gotta go for that one first. Sitting right in the scotch bonnet, so. If this is gonna be too spicy, it is what it is. Mm. Oh my word! You guys! Wow! Mm. How this is jerk and the oxtail is jerk is amazing because they're two totally different flavor profiles. This one's definitely more smoky. That scotch bonnet sauce is fantastic. I actually, it's not that spicy. I want more of that. This is so good. Wow. Mmm. The pork is soft and tender. The fat just melts off. It has that same uh, tender texture as the oxtail. Look at that. Falling apart. Wonderful. Mm. Okay. Nine out of ten, the red cup. Okay. Yeah, no more. No more jollof. That's the white one. It's a jollof right? spaghetti. Looks like we have some bone in meat here, as well as chicken further down. This is the last thing we're gonna try, I think, today. Can't leave without trying this. That chicken looks really good. Hey, can I please have chicken, mm -hmm. plantains, and the puff puff? I want to taste it. I want to see. I want to taste it. We have spaghetti. It's good. It's good. I want it. It's good. I got uh, stew chicken and plantains. Those plantains look so good. I wonder if they're sweet or if they're savory. This looks really good. Stew chicken. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's good. But this is fire. The chicken is doused in this like tomato, onion, spices paste. Has a really good flavor. It's called stewed chicken, but it doesn't have a lot of liquid. But it's almost like it all just got like absorbed into the chicken meat. It's really good. That's good. I haven't had chicken like that before. That's very good. Let me try these fried plantains. Oh. Oh. 
I love the crispy edges and the doughy banana -y inside. It goes really well with the chicken. It's barely holding on to my fork. Mm. So much flavor. Mm. That's been braising for hours. These people are working so hard right now. People are hungry, it's busy, and they're killing it. This food is so good. And then I also got these puff puffs. I'm not really sure what they are, but I saw the chef dropping them into the fryer, so I said I gotta try these. Oh, they're softer. They're more doughy. They're piping hot because I he just pulled them out of the fryer. They've taken on some oil. Maybe the pot wasn't very hot, the fryer. But I still want to taste it for the flavor. It's really hot. Hold on. Oh. It's good. It's a uh, flour. I thought it might have been corn, but it's flour. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's almost like like a donut, like a donut hole. I say, uh, I say, uh, one. Yo, Ghana, we gotta step. 
wrap it up, guys. Come on, man. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good, though. One thing about the Black Stars, we always bounce back. We always bounce back. We'll be back. Atlanta, we'll be back. Second, it's a red country. Okay, second is red, and that's Liberia. So ladies and gentlemen, the official winners, Jello Festival, Atlanta 2024, Kalapu, Nigeria. We can show to the magia before they oh, come on. Come on. I want to say to the Nigeria people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my Nigeria people. Uh huh. Jello Festival, the winner for the Jello Festival, Nigerians. I say, Jack, 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 It's not, that's a good one, that's a bad one. That, that, that was crazy. <laughs> that was good. I don't know.